Hi everybody and welcome to today's video here on the Yoga by Candice YouTube channel. I'm here in Zurich, Switzerland where I'm hosting um, a retreat as part of our European uh, tour. And I'm staying at 25 Hours Zurich West, really cool eclectic hotel. Um, it was awesome because they actually have the service where you can borrow their Mini Cooper if you're a guest and take it out for four hours. So it was perfect um, to leave from here to go teach my workshop and then drive back afterwards. So thank you to 25 Hours Zurich West for accommodating me and for offering up your Mini Cooper. That's such a cool service. Today we're going to be doing a standing series. This is for somebody who perhaps works at an office or just doesn't have the ability to unroll a mat and get on their hands and knees. So it's just gonna be standing just like this. I'm gonna wear my shoes. You can wear yours as well or not, doesn't matter at all. When you're ready, come to standing, bring your arms by your side and let's get started. So with your arms by your side, take your feet about hip distance or so. Bring your awareness to your feet. See if you can close your eyes and lift up the arches of your feet. So to do that, you're going to try to figure out how you have distributed your weight. You want to have your weight distribution evenly across all um, four corners of both feet. And you may even want to sway side to side, forward, backward, until you find that center point of gravity, and then bring your awareness to the arches of your feet. And as you take a deep breath in, imagine the arches are kind of like a section, like a straw. Breathe in to find length through your legs, moving your awareness up the torso and through the crown of the head. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then from here, inhale, open up the arms to the side. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. And then gently just tilt the pelvis forward and backward, trying to find a neutral pelvis. Once you're neutral, bring your hands down by your side. And begin to shift your weight over onto your right foot. Bring your left knee out in front of you. And hold here. Try not to lean back. Try to stay nice and tall, light and lifted. What we're doing here is activating a little bit of core strength and also your hip flexor, hip flexor strength as well. And gently release and begin to switch over to the other side. So begin to shift your weight over onto your left foot, lift your right knee up. Try not to lean back, stay nice and tall, light and lifted. Using core strength, using hip flexor strength, and slowly come back to center. Shifting the weight back over, we're gonna bring just the foot back behind us now and grab hold from the outside, keeping the knees in line with one another. Maybe you're taking the hands out to the side, one hand out to the side, or the hand can come to the hip. As you, bring, as you breathe, bring your awareness to the front of your left thigh and breathe space and length through the quad. Now, keeping your foot up, we're gonna swing the knee in front of us and interlace our fingers around the shin. Hug the knee into your chest and release any tension that you may be feeling through the back of the hip. From here, we're going to um, offer a slight twist. So you're gonna release your left hand and begin to open it up. Really gentle twist to your left. And then as you inhale, come back to center. Bring the hand back on the knee. You'll take your right hand, bring it to the hip, and then open up the knee to the side. As you inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, slowly press the foot down to the ground. Go slower than you want to go. Same thing on the other side. We're shifting the weight over now to our left foot. Bringing the right foot back behind us, grab hold. <clears throat> Knees are going to be in line with one another and breathe space and length into the thigh. As you inhale, Keep standing on this leg, stay nice and strong, balanced, 
Swing the knee out in front, interlace the fingers the way that feels a little funky around the top of the shin. Hug the knee into your chest, try not to lean back, stay nice and tall. Breathing any space and length into any areas of tension that you may be feeling through the back of the hip. From here we'll take a gentle twist, so you'll release your right hand and slowly open it up. If you lose your balance, no worries. And then as you inhale, come back to center. Taking the hand to the top of the shin, other hand comes to your hip, and you'll open up. As you inhale, come back to center, release, and slowly come all the way down to standing. From here, take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance. We're going to find our way into a ragdoll pose to release. So as you come forward, bend your knees a whole lot, come all the way down, and then grab opposite elbows. Option to stay here in stillness or go side to side, which will feel really nice across the backs of the legs. And then when you're ready, come to stillness. Bring your awareness to the bottoms of the feet. Inhale, follow the breath all the way up through the backs of the legs. And exhale, melt your torso down even more. Allow your hands to drop with a thud. Bend your knees and roll all the way up to standing. Bringing the feet to hip distance, bring your hands to heart center, closing your eyes, and set an intention for the rest of your day. When you're ready, quietly open up your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comment section. Don't forget we run international retreats and workshops worldwide, so go over and check out yogabycandice.com. At the very top, you'll see the workshops and trainings and uh, retreats that we offer. And I also want to let you know about our app. It's called Yoga by Candice. You can find it one word, Yoga by Candice, by searching in the iTunes App Store. And my book, Namaste, is available on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, and most major bookstores everywhere. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon here on the YZC YouTube channel.